eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis shrug straw syndrome eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis formerly known as shrug straw syndrome is a small vessel of vasculitis with an incidence of about 1 to 3 a per 1 lakh it is associated with eosinophilia some patients have a proromal period for many years <coughs> characterized by allergic rhinitis nasal polyposis and late onset asthma that is often difficult to control the typical acute presentation is with a triad of skin lesions purpura or nodules asymmetric mononeuritis multiplex and eosinophilia pulmonary infiltrates and pleural or pericardial effusions due to serositis may be present up to 50 percent of patients have abdominal symptoms provoked by mesenteric vasculitis patients with active disease have raised levels of esr and crp and an eosinophilia although antibodies to mpo or or PR3 can be detected in up to 60% of cases. Eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis is considered to be a distinct disorder from the other unca associated vasculitis. Biopsy of an affected site reveals a small vessel vasculitis with eosinophilic infiltration of the vessel wall. Management is with high dose glucocorticoids and cyclophosphamide followed by maintenance therapy with low-dose glucocorticoids and azathioprine, methotrexate, or mycophenolate morphetin. Now, hanok schonlin purpura. hanok schonlin purpura is a small vessel vasculitis caused by immune complex deposition following an infectious trigger. It is predominantly a disease of children and young adults. The usual presentation is with purpura over the buttocks and lower legs accompanied by abdominal pain, gastrointestinal bleeding, and arthralgia. Nephritis can also occur and may present up to four weeks after the onset of other symptoms. Biopsy of affected tissue shows a vasculitis with IgA deposits in the vessel wall. hanok schonlin purpura is usually a self-limiting disorder that settles spontaneously without specific treatment. Glucocorticoids and immunosuppressive therapy may be required in patients with more severe disease, particularly in the presence of nephritis. Now, cryoglobinemic vasculitis. This is a small vessel vasculitis that occurs when immunoglobulins precipitate out in the cold. Cryoglobulins are classified into three types. Types 2 and 3 are associated with vasculitis. The typical presentation is with a vasculitic rash over the lower limbs, arthralgia, Raynaud's phenomenon, and neuropathy. Some cases are secondary to hepatitis C infection, and others are associated with other autoimmune diseases. Affected patients should be screened for evidence of hepatitis B and C infection, and if the results are positive, this should be treated appropriately. There is no consensus as to how best to treat cryoglobinemic vasculitis in the absence of an obvious trigger. Glucocorticoids and immunosuppressive therapy are often used empirically but their efficacy is uncertain in severe cases plasmapheresis can be considered